So working back to the sawmill, friends, working on some cedar today. We've got this one on the mill. We got it canned down to about eight inches on the width. We're gonna saw this at four quarters on the thickness. Probably get about 38, maybe 40 board feet out of this one. We got two more left to saw. Then I'm done with cedar for a little while. Thank goodness I've been sawing cedar here for the past two weeks. I'm getting a little tired of it, to be honest with you. But we'll finish these up. It won't take us too long. Then we're gonna get in the big tractor. I need to put an attachment on the back of it and go grab a red oak log that I have no idea what the condition of it will be. We're gonna bring it up here to the sawmill as well and open it up. And uh, touch on a few things here. Everybody's been asking how George is doing, our newest dog. Well, here's some footage of him. My wife lets him outside during the day when we're out there with him. And uh, you can see he's chasing the chickens around and he's also stealing some of their scraps they get out of the kitchen right there. He's got some uh, loaf bread in his mouth right there. He's a funny dog. But George is doing just fine. He's about, I think he's about 10 weeks old now. I can't remember. But uh, you guys will see him in future videos here pretty soon. As soon as he gets big enough to kind of go out on his own a little bit where he's not having to go to the bathroom every 10 seconds like a puppy does, I'll start bringing him up here to the sawmill with me. You guys can see him. So uh, he's doing just fine. On the sawmill, we've got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those saw blades, friends, you know what to do. Give Joe a phone call. And if you want a sharpener, also give Joe a phone call. He can do both. And in the last video, people were asking me about my setter. And I'll do a video on that maybe next week showing the setter. I've got to pull that thing out. That shows how often I use it, which is rarely. So uh, stay tuned for that. So let's finish up this cedar, friends. I want to go grab this red oak log and see what it looks like. I don't even know how long it's been here. I can't remember. So uh, also, I always forget something. Two more things here. Number one, thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel. I really appreciate it. And number two, if you want one of my t-shirts, friends, Farm Focus has plenty of them left. It's a short sleeve t-shirt with the beard logo in the pocket right here on the front. Really nice shirt. I should be wearing it today. Here I am promoting my own stuff and not wearing it. That's not very good marketing at all. I need to, I need to do better on that. And, Thanks to LogRot for sponsoring the channel. Really appreciate those guys also. Let's get going. Right, guys that was a pretty good log right there got 42 board feet out of it had to stop what i was doing though i got a customer that's supposed to be here in about 10 minutes he's gonna be getting some cedar we gotta get him loaded up and get him out of here and in about 30 minutes i've got a buddy of mine coming over who bought one of my machines so we gotta load that up as well so we'll take care of those two tasks those two tasks i can't talk today it's a shocker we'll take care of both those guys real fast get them out of here then we'll jump on the 754 and grab that red oak log you guys hang in there. And one more thing I just thought of. Send me eggs we got in the chicken house. They've been laying about 12 a day. 
And also one more thing here. A lot of you guys have been commenting they're new to this channel about my accent and saying I sound funny. Well, around here I sound pretty normal, but that's Tennessee for you. It's just the way we talk. And I also have a cold right now, and that's making it even worse. So if you need if you need a uh, closed captioning, I'm not sure what to tell you. Maybe YouTube will offer that down below. If they don't, bear with me. It gets better as time goes on. You'll start understanding what I'm saying here. The more you watch. There's Mr. Blue Cat out here today. What are you doing, Blue? Yeah? Getting ready for your next battle, it looks like. Yep. You're a good boy. This cat right here is the one that kills everything. He's our best hunter. Right now, it looks like he's pretty lazy, though. I promise I'm telling you the truth. Well, usually in here in the garage is where the baskets are for the eggs. There we go. There for a minute, I thought I was gonna have to use my hat. Hello there, ladies, how's it going? We doing okay today? You all want out, don't you? Maybe later. Looks like we got somebody on the nest. We'll leave her alone, but there's several eggs. Got four in that one and three more over there. Hello, how we doing? Yep, I'm here to get your eggs. There'll be more, don't worry. Now, sometimes people will reach under their chickens to check for eggs, but that one right there is hateful. She will wear you out if you kind of get near her when she's in there laying eggs. Watch this. I ain't gonna test it, it ain't worth it. I'd hate to lose a finger here on the video. All right, looks like we got seven. By the end of the day though, we should have at least 12. taking a break on the front porch. Got Bruno with us. Say hello, Bruno. Howdy, partners. Howdy, partners. <laughs> He's got his dog out here with him. Hello, Master George. George, camera's over here. He's about like Mama Cat. What you doing, buddy? Also got Mama too over there. She don't want the camera either. And looky there. Hatefulest cat on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Get her, George. Well, Here comes everybody else. There's two cat. John Henry. There's two master cat. There's two. And Mr. Blue. There's two master cowboys, Blue and John Henry. Yep, everybody's up here. All right, Bruno. All right. I gotta get back to work. Tell you what, I need to put me a backup camera on this tractor. That would be nice. Before I grab this log, I need to put the land plane on the back of it for some counterweight. That oak is pretty heavy. Tell you what, one of the hardest things about working a tractor, in my opinion, is putting on three point hitch implements. I have a hard time with it. I always have. Alright guys, got the land plane put on. Now, see if we can grab this red oak. I'd say, judging by the size, I would guess it weighs probably around 15, 1600 pounds, maybe more. Yep, that's a heavy log right there. you want friends I don't know how many times I've done this but whenever I put a real heavy log on a machine I always get nervous about it I'll tell you 
to be very careful of these heavy logs. Hopefully it rolls over. Yeah, it did not roll over all the way. Huh. Guess I'll have to get the cant hook out to finish the job right there. I need me a bigger building. Have I mentioned that before? All right, guys, this is a pretty nasty log right here. There's a lot of decay going on in the sapwood, on the cambium layer, the bark's coming off. We've got insect damage everywhere. A little cavity right there, a cat face right there. This is awesome. This is what I was wanting, actually. These old character logs, especially with oak, when they lay on the ground for a few years, they get little wormholes and defects that you can't reproduce and it makes for some really nice boards. Some of the uh, best boards I've ever sold that were turned into tables were sold out of logs just like this where they laid on the ground for a few years, usually oak, and they got wormholes and just little defects and people just love that. And they made really nice tables. It almost looked like tables made out of reclaimed lumber, but it was actually new wood from a log that had been down. But something like this, friends, is really a gem in the rough. That makes no sense. It's supposed to be a diamond in the rough, Nathan, a gem in the rough. That makes no sense. I can't look over me sometimes. A diamond in the rough. That sounds better. Gem in the rough. My, I should make that an outtake. I think I'll just leave it in here. I'll tell you what. Anyways, this will be some really nice boards. We're not going to quarter saw it because of all the defects. We've got this cat face. The pith is off-centered. I think we're at 26 inches and 24 on the diameter, just over eight feet. But I'll tell you guys, we're gonna cut this at five quarter. And some people asked why I do five quarter because that's my preference. Some of the guys I sell wood to when they get a one inch board, they like it to be a little bit thicker because sometimes they want their finished dimension to be a solid one inch instead of three quarter. So next time you're sawing up some boards, cut some five quarter, sell them at that board footage. Don't sell them at three quarter, sell them at five quarter so you don't sell yourself short but you'll find that you'll sell some of those. People do like thicker boards. But uh, this will be fun, guys. We'll open this one up. We'll probably fight some ants, and I'll be getting bit the whole time. There's some fire ants right here. As long as there's no carpenter ants in here. If I see carpenter ants, we'll have to shut down and spray this thing down so I don't get infested in here. But all I see these fire ants right here at the top. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a good one. This will be a nice log right here. What do you guys think? I think it'll be a good one. We won't finish this today. So don't, don't anticipate me going all the way through this log. I gotta stop early today. I gotta run to the bank and do some financial stuff because tomorrow I'm buying a piece of equipment and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So uh, that's why we won't finish this today, but we will at least open this up, cut a few boards and see what we can see.